This is a tutorial on how to print 8 by 10 inch uh, prints from adoramapix.com. I found it uh, the most affordable and the quality is considered to be you know one of the best online. If you are an artist and uh, you need to print portfolio of your artwork on 8 by 10, 8 by 10 inches on matte paper, I believe this is the best source and uh, the most bang for your money. So in order to get your images uh, printed correctly so that you know every single color is uh, properly set up, uh, what you need to do is first to calibrate your monitor on your computer so you make sure your monitor is calibrated uh, and correct paper ICC profile is downloaded and imported into uh, so if you're using Windows uh, in my case it's Windows 7 so I'm gonna show you everything step by step on how to set it up on Windows 7 you need to calibrate your monitor and how do you do that in Windows basically what you need to do is you simply search for screen resolution screen orientation screen resolution okay once you're there you go to advanced settings and then you go to color management then you go to click on this button color management and what you basically need to go is to go to advanced and then calibrate display do you see that so once you do that it's gonna give you this kind of like a wizard and you have to go through this wizard step by step and in my case what I did is I I just put this wizard side by side with my uh, NVIDIA graphics card since I'm using it on the laptop it's a Sager laptop which has like 3D capabilities on the screen and everything it's a 17 inch screen I basically pulled up the uh, the NVIDIA let's see where is that NVIDIA there you go okay so if you can see uh, going through this screen to calibrate it I basically only played around with brightness and contrast and the rest this uh, wizard basically allows you to you know play around with uh, within this window okay basically what I did is I just double clicked on this icon and video settings alright and I went to adjust desktop color settings right here so once you do that it would normally be other applications control color settings but I, sp I pressed use NVIDIA settings and I was able to before all of these settings were grayed out you know if I go to other applications control settings it would be grayed out so you specify use NVIDIA and you would be able to manipulate with these settings so you keep this window and this window on the right together and you calibrate the monitor and then once you set it up you will see a much big difference because normally the monitors are uh, much brighter than they should be when they are uh, shipped from the factory so you need to set it up in such a way so that uh, the images uh, look right before you send it to the printer you calibrate your monitor and then you download this particular like for, in the, for instance this matte paper that I'm gonna be using you can also download the glossy or lustre lustre is actually uh, way more than glossier like it's it's literally like looking into the you know a bucket of water so it's really really that shiny or uh, Endura metallic and they do have this metallic kind of a paper that shines through that metallic through the highlights of the image you download this ICC profile for the matte paper 8 by 10 inches paper okay so what you need to do is basically go to this particular website that is on Adorama this is the page alright right here and you select the ICC profile for your particular situation so if you print it on matte paper you download this particular one right here you press as you could see Adorama Pix standard matte and then you know the, the code that you they are using uh, ICC so you save the file right into here you see it's uh, C drive then Windows system 32 spool drivers color folder 
right inside the color folder you saved this particular file into it so if you're using Photoshop in my case I'm using Photoshop CS6 extended open a Photoshop so in my case it's 8 by 10 right so you press new and you know normally you would go US paper which is eight and a half by eleven but you play around with the settings here and you set it to eight by ten okay and it's gonna be vertical so once you set that up okay you gotta specify to be uh, using the uh, Adorama ICC profile that we downloaded okay so what you need to do is you go to edit okay convert to profile and then since I already was using it it's already there you see and you gotta make sure it's sRGB not Adobe uh, 1998 but sRGB because most of the online printers they use sRGB color space not uh, Adobe 1998 so you select it there okay and you press OK once you do that it's already set up basically 8 by 10 and all you need to do is just drop images into it and as long as you keep everything within 8 by 10 size everything is gonna be printed correctly let's suppose you want to you know add some things and I already did and in this case for instance this image right so what you basically need to do is uh, you since you photograph the images let's say with a really good camera uh, in my case I was using Nikon D800 it's a 36 megapixel camera so what I'm gonna go is I'm gonna walk you through okay so you, if you can see this is the raw camera camera raw Nikon D800 okay I already cropped it and you gotta make sure it's sRGB that's where you start everything so that's where you play around with the settings okay you play with uh, exposure daylight or whatever setting you know you play around with and this is basically uh, making decisions in the camera but uh, you know this uh, allows you flexibility to change exposure highlights white balance whatnot you know black levels shadows and whatnot everything so once you set it up you can press open image and if you press just normally you see that uh, that tip that pops up open as normal image and alt click to open without updating image met metadata so this particular image uh, cropping and everything else is not going to be saved if I press alt and then click and if I press shift click uh, it's going to open it as a smart object meaning I can resize it without losing any resolution alright so I'm going to just press open as a normal image okay then I'm gonna drag over to the side so I could basically drop it in to that particular ICC profiled file and then I just drag it over boom and this is what I'm presented you see it says source is sRGB destination is the uh, you know the paper profile of the Adam Adorama and uh, we are pressing OK and basically it's gonna convert it without changing colors drastically you could still update the file and everything rotate it and to rotate it I go to transform rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise CCW means counterclockwise and then I go control T and then I basically drag it put it snapping to the edge and then I bring it over of course I have to set this constraint proportion so it doesn't distort the image alright and as long as I'm there I press enter and here it is and this bottom white line actually allows you to put the title in if you want or you will just cut it once you receive the image on paper so once you're ready to do this once you're ready with the image, you like the image and everything, you go, basically this is, this is the ready stage for sending it to a file that you will be uploading 
to adoramapix.com. So they limit the image file size to 60 megabytes maximum and they accept either JPEG or TIFF. I prefer TIFF because it contains all information without any compression, whereas the JPEG gives you a lot of compression. You don't go to save for, for web or anything. You go to save as, okay, within Photoshop. And then you select the file format. In this case, it's TIFF. And you press as a copy and discard layers because the, if you keep the layers, the file is going to be huge and it could go well beyond 60 megabyte limit. All right, and you make sure this is checked, the Adorama standard mat, and then you save this file for, you know, whatever naming you give it, okay? Once it's saved, you upload it to Adorama Pix, and little by little you get to this particular window where it's very important what I'm gonna tell you next, okay? You make sure, since you already know that your file is 8 by 10, and it's 300 uh, resolution. You select the file and then you go to review and adjust. You got to make sure normally it stays by crop vertical. You got to make sure you press do not crop. You see if you press uh, crop vertical this is where it allows you to crop but you don't want to crop because you already set the image to be 8 by 10 and you you set it to be to the edge like the image is bleeding like to the edge all right so you got to make sure it's do not crop okay once you set it do not crop it's going to tell you white borders may appear on print which is by, by me because i want the most image to the edge okay and then i'll just cut it once i receive the image those white lines all right and then you press done and you go through all the rest of the images and then you go proceed to the next step and that's when you're ready to pay for like adding it to the cart and pay for the transaction and you know receive the images by mail and that's pretty much it this is the tutorial for how to send your images high-res images to Adorama Pix and this has been a presentation of InnoMine.org